Good morning everyone, this is Dan again with E-Bike Nation. Welcome to my channel. This is uh, segment number three of the ride today. We're riding my uh, Cy Rusher Ranger. It's my 26 inch by four inch fat tire bike. I got this bike in metallic green. It comes in like three different colors or four. But I really like this green, so they asked me which color that I preferred, so I asked for the green one, and that's what they sent me. The bike um, came um, pretty much assembled other than the front tire, normal stuff that you do to a bike, handlebars, charging the battery, you got to do that usually once you uh, get it shipped. And they send it with tools and stuff you can assemble the bike. But yeah, there are um, there are things that uh, when you get a bike in that you got to do. I've done so many of them now that most of them are almost the same. I've only had one bike company, which is an electric bike company, sent me a bike, more of a cruiser, 26 inch fat tire. Well, it didn't really a fat tire bike. It was like two and a half inches on the tires. Uh, but they wanted me to review it, so they sent it out of California, but it was on a skid Which I really like that because your chance of getting damage to the box is greatly reduced when they send it on a skid But on that bike all I had to do is take the bike out of the box Adjust the handlebars up and the bike was ready to ride Other than putting air in it and checking your battery level that bike was pretty much ready to go Get a little rain here. Got a guy with an umbrella out. I think that's my walking guy. He gets out and walks about 27 miles every day. I believe that's him. Nope, that was actually somebody different. I call the other guy the walking man. He walks 27 miles every day and he walks about 12 hours every day. And he's in his mid 70s. So keep that in mind when you're talking about somebody getting out and getting exercise, that's what you want to do. This area we're coming up on right here is called uh, Kill Care Speedway. Uh, they won't have much racing going on right now with this rain. The track is definitely going to be too wet. Right now we'd be normally hearing a lot of noise and cars going down the track, but not today. This rain was supposed to end, but it's still kind of hanging on there. I'm still showing 100% on my battery, and so dropping this down to uh, pedal assist 2 has really helped the battery degradation. I'm not seeing a drop in it too much at all. So I am impressed with that. So I want to thank my uh, subscriber that uh, brought that up to me about this Cy Rusher Ranger because he owns one just like it. But yeah, I've ridden in the rain before. This is nothing new. This is okay. It's spritzing just a little bit, but it gets a downpour. I'm going to try to find shelter somewhere. Even though I got my raincoat with me, I, uh, I'll still try to uh, seek shelter. Not a whole lot of fun to ride a bike when it's uh, that wet. We're going to go up to an area that we call Xenia Station today. That's my normally my halfway point when it will be again today. But I did take the detour because the road still, bike trail still closed on the section, so. I'll get in about uh, two and a half less miles by going this way. So that's about five miles total on the uh, ride. But that still gives me 25 miles or somewhere close to that. Seeing a lot of walnuts on the trail through here. I try to ride between them as much as I can, but sometimes it's unavoidable.
I'm still wiping off that camera lens, so I'm trying to keep as much off that lens as I can. People think I'm a little crazy to get out and ride like this, think it's dangerous or things of that nature, but if, you be, if you're careful, you're gonna be okay. They have not seen many bikes out today. I think I've seen one or two and that's been it. Not too cold out here, but it's gonna turn colder Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is supposed to be a high in the 40s. I'll probably still be riding if I can. Monday, I've got to take my wife to a doctor's appointment, but I might get out in the afternoon. I probably will not be riding tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, we have church, and then we have, um, I watch pro football in the afternoon, of course. So yeah, I wanna get this ride in today and then we'll get out again on Monday once I get back from her appointments. Do a little more riding. I'm cruising along about 19 mile an hour. The battery uh, finally dropped to 97%, which is about right for here because we're over nine miles into the ride now. So I did expect it to drop a little bit. This has got a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery on this bike. So it's a big, it's got a big battery. It sits down in the uh, down tube. And I also found out that uh, my Cyrusher Ovia 52 volt battery will fit right in this cradle. I already did that. So I could take, um, on your left, I could easily take uh, two batteries and get probably 70 miles if I want to. I might do that next spring when it gets warmer and I can get out and ride a lot. I might do that. Carry that extra battery with me in my bag and Put this thing to a much longer range test but so far i have had zero flaws with this bike this is probably my third or fourth ride on this bike being real careful here we got a lot of wet leaves here barely even see the trail but i'll be uh doing several videos on this bike that I promised the company that I would do. And uh, they also want me to send them the videos because they want to edit them themselves. And I'm okay with that. I might load them on my channel too. But uh, the ones I send to them, you may see a different version time they get done doing the editing on that video. Because they've now got a, a dedicated uh, website for Cy Rusher, from what I understand that is for influencers or creators like me across the uh, world that are uh, doing these ride videos and then they will edit it down to what they want you to see. So you may see a change on the, their website versus mine on my channel because of that. Yeah, we got about another three miles to go here. Get to our halfway point and I'll see if I can seek, seek a little bit of cover here in this rain so I can talk about the bike for you guys. Then I'll stop and eat a quick lunch and I'll head back. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed these rides that I do. As you can see, the bike is pretty quiet. These Kinda Crusade tires are designed very well uh, the way that they, they put the knobs on them to where you're not hearing a whole lot of road noise either, and I like that.
but it's a beautifully built bike. I mean, got dual suspension, air suspension in the back, and I think the front may have that as well. I'll, I'll have to correct that if I'm wrong. But as I mentioned, I did uh, fill, the, fill the air shocks up all the way on the rear because I was hearing a little bit of scraping sound on the suspension that was too uh, loose. Not loose, but a very uh, level that was absorbing a lot of bumps. And uh, I was hearing a little bit of scraping. Maybe it was that rack I put on here. And uh, I have fixed all of that and I put a lot more air in these rear shocks. And I, I have not heard one scrape yet on the bike trail. So that really did help that. But yeah, we'll get up here about another mile and a half, two miles. We'll be at our halfway point. Like I said, it's kind of a little misty, gloomy little day today, but all days are good. Every day above six feet of the earth, you're having a good day. Shall I say above the earth? You just look at all this all the scenery and all the leaves and the fall time and God's a great creator. But just to see the beauty and get out and ride, and I don't care if it's raining or not, I mean, this is, this is very invigorating for me to do at my age. To get out and exercise and ride and share things with you folks. I think I have uh, over almost a year and a half now, I put up over 500 videos, maybe 530, that's a lot. My channel is uh, slowly growing. I got over 5,000 subscribers now and I'm coming up on about 1,000 views on most videos today. So I'm happy to see that. So yeah, we're steadily growing. But as I mentioned, sometimes it's kind of hard to come up with things to talk about other than the bike and your life. And but typically, I'll just uh, find something, we'll talk about it, and we'll... A lot of times, people will put comments down in my comment section, and I appreciate that, and I try to answer everything. My channel is still small enough where I can pretty much answer everything that comes in. Now, as when I get much larger, I may not be able to answer as many, but I'll try. Any comments, somebody wants to comment on the channel. And believe me, you get the haters on the channel. Um, unfortunately, I have to delete people where they can't get on my channel anymore, but they can't, they may be able to get on the channel, but they're not gonna be able to comment. Cause they'll say some nasty things about me or my bikes or other people on the channel and they gotta go. I will delete you in a heartbeat for disrespect to somebody else. I think it's just people that troll people on YouTube channels just to make their life miserable or try to make their life miserable don't make me miserable I just delete them I don't have time for that as you can hear the brakes are getting a little bit wetter because got a little squeal there so we're certainly putting the bike through a wet ride today and I'm okay with that I have to see how it handles in the with a lot of moisture too. So far it's passed the uh, test on almost everything that I've done today. Yeah. Uh, 
I see a couple people in the parking lot up there that are out riding. I didn't think there'd be as many today. Not with this rain. But we got a few. Actually, instead of going up, I might go around the building up there, but I'll, this the little canopy here on the right, I think that's where I'm going to talk about the bike once we get uh, around the building here. I just want to see if there's somebody up here that I may know. This is one of those central hubs in Ohio where people come to to ride. They'll park their trucks here, and they'll come from all kinds of different areas where they'll get out and uh, get out and ride. Yeah, we'll go up here and we'll get off the curb up here. Morning. Got some tree roots coming up there. Sometimes I'll run into people up here and talk to them and they'll ask me some questions about the bike and just different things. But it's it's wet out here today, that's for sure. the parking lot up here we'll get back to that little shelter up here where we can get off the bike and sprinkling pretty good here so I don't want to get too wet but the bike riders are a few today But there are a few of them out. Okay, right up here is where we're gonna get under this little shelter here and we'll talk about the bike a little bit. Then I'll grab a couple sandwiches, get something to eat here, and then I'll head back. But I like this little area right here to ride on. Um, as you can see, the rain's coming down pretty good here. But yeah, let me hop off the bike here and uh, we'll talk about it here a little bit. Okay. Let me uh, get my camera off here. Boy, it got really wet, I noticed. Get that camera lens cleaned off a little bit and get this off my chest so we can talk about it all righty here we go this is the Cy Rusher Ranger this is the 26 by 4 inch fat tire bike it's a beauty uh, very well built this is a Bafang 750 watt rear hub motor and then it's got an uh, Altus Shimano 9 speed cassette which I really like and it's also got um, Logan hydraulic brakes, which are really good brakes. And then uh, with your front wheel here, we got the 180 millimeter um, rotor here. And uh, it's also got a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery that you just screw the, I mean, uh, turn the key and the battery falls forward. And then you can take it out to either uh, recharge it or you can charge it on the bike because you got a little charging port right here. Um, the controller sits down in here. Somebody had seen this, they thought this was a mid-drive motor, but it is not. And the bike also has uh, front and rear suspension. Uh, very good suspension. They got lockouts on them and they got adjustments on them. And then on the back, it's got these air shocks. So what I did is took this little, uh, like it light is on a tire, and I put the air in right here. So I put them, I put quite a bit of air in that. So the suspension on this now is very firm on the rear, which I really like that. 
so yeah that's a little bit about that uh handlebar design is pretty good on this bike you've got your um, horn here and of course your lights up here and your pedal assist levels is right here so you can go up to five i normally ride down in about two when i'm riding and uh i just i just alarm the bike i guess i better run alarm it i just took out the alarm on it but yeah i mean uh that's what's on this little turn signal um, device I have here. I'll explain that to you here in a minute. But yeah, the um, you've got settings in here where it'll tell you your total miles, uh, your odometer. This is how many miles I've got on it so far. I think it's 43 miles. I thought I had a little more. I may have. I don't know until I go into the settings. But um, yeah, it's got a couple um, points to uh, mount a bottle holder here which I carry my coffee an awful lot. And it's got these 26 by four inch Kinda Crusade fat tires. They're just really beefy tires. So yeah, it's a great ride on this bike for sure. And as you can see, um, all your uh, wiring, it's got good wire management here that uh, tucks down into the frame as you can see, which is good. And then, uh, it all comes down into the controller here and of course it goes back to the motor and here's your motor cutoff switch here in case you need to work on that back tire you want to unplug that electronics to that motor for sure and uh, other than that I mean like I said it's got a nine speed cassette on it which I really like because having a uh, torque sensor you're going to get some work into your legs and that is really important as far as exercise go i think a, a torque sensor bike is much easier to ride than a cadence sensor of course a cadence sensor as i mentioned that is once you have a cadence sensor bike you you start pedaling and get that motor to start you're going to probably be ghost pedaling at a 14 to 15 mile an hour because each one of those speeds are set at that motor how much output to put into the motor so before you know it you're ghost pedaling with this torque sensor you don't have that happen it's going to put the power to the motor how much pressure you want to put on those pedals so keep that in mind but other than that uh it's got a really good uh, i did change the seat i'll explain that in a minute um but it has a good little uh area here for you can adjust the seat on it. But as you can see, the way they designed this shocks here and into the uh, the back forks, I mean, uh, they put a lot of cushion to this uh, to the seat post, the way that's designed. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some of the aftermarket things that I purchased for this bike. That's a little bit about the uh, main components that you get with the bike. Of course, you can see it does not come with any fenders at all you can buy them from their website and aftermarket i'm going to leave them off because i think it makes the bike looks a little more um, um clean looking shall we say i am going to take these little things off the bike i take them off on most all my bikes i do not like them reflectors i think they look cheesy i know they put them on for safety reasons but them are coming off all right let's talk about this seat this is called a blue wind seat very very comfortable you can see how wide this thing is as you get older you want a little more comfort so i really like that and then a cup holder little mounting thing i had at home i'm trying to find a green one to match the bike my uh coffee mug kind of matches the bike here anyway and then uh, let's talk about these turn signals this comes off in case you want to uh, get off your bike and set the alarm and everything but I'll go ahead and set the alarm on the bike and I'll show you how loud this thing is. I have two alarms on this bike. That means it's armed. So if you're going to move this, it's going to give you that warning right there. Then you move it again, that's what it's going to do. So you can see it's pretty loud. And the turn signals, it's in the same remote. That's, this is your left turn signal. I had to kind of uh, do a little bit of modification here to put it back on this bag. 
but you can see the left turn signal and you just hit the button again get the right turn signal and can you see hear the difference in the sound of the turn signal that's different and then you just hit it again and of course it's got a horn on it as well it's pretty loud I had to do a little modification here because I couldn't figure out no way else to put this on this bike so I just took a little PVC pipe mounted it to this uh, back little strap on the uh, bike and it works fine so doesn't look great but it serves the purpose so that's what I did and then um, this is an aftermarket bag as well this is um, a bike that a bag that I took off another uh, bike the Blix uh, they sent me this bag but they didn't send me the bike yet I'm still waiting on the bike for this bag to go on so um, I also put these little um, brackets here so I can actually zip tie this uh, to the both sides of this so they don't touch the wheels or anything like that and this bag I can carry stuff like slime or flat out unfortunately flat out does not make small bottles anymore but slime does so I carry my um, my valve uh, stem remover and all that with me so if I get a flat I can change the tire on the on the go as well but other than that I uh, purchase these bar end mirrors I have one for the other side but the way this is designed on this throttle I can't put the other mirror on here but I'm okay with that this one gets me um, all the view of people behind me and things of like that so I'm okay with that but yeah if you got any questions um, put them down in the uh, comment section of the video and uh, see if I can uh, help you out on any decisions that you may want on this bike or any other bike that I review as well as you can see, I got my rain jacket today. I may be putting that on here before I head home. But yeah, it's a beautiful bike. I want to thank Cy Rusher for sending this bike to me to review for them. Uh, again, this is price point on this is $27.99 plus tax. It's a little pricey, but I can tell you it's built with absolute quality components. Nothing on this bike is cheap. As far as the uh, design of it, the components and it's just a beautiful bike i have a lot of fun riding this thing now that i've gotten out riding a little bit so yeah let me know what you guys think uh, if you've got any questions put them down in the comment section uh share and like the video and hit that subscribe button hit the bell notifications of any future videos coming out and i will see you of course on the next video